Hello and welcome to Retro Gaming Suite. My name is Oscar and today I'll show you five great and cheap NES games. <laughs> We've all been there, checking eBay listings for NES games, and the only thing that show up is expensive as hell. And while some of these games aren't as well known as the Mega Man and Castlevania games, they are all really good and well worth your time. All these games are under $20 or Euros. Most can be gotten a lot cheaper at around the 10 mark. As long as you don't buy it in box. So if you're low on funds or just want to bulk up your collection without picking up some random crap, this is a good video for you. But before we get going, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you want another game featured on the channel, please tell me in the comments. Do you have the fastest fingers in your circle of friends, or maybe your family? Do you enjoy multiplayer games? Do you want to see a good 8-bit sports game? Well, here you have it, Track and Field 2. Remember when Konami was a games company? Yeah, this is one of the best games they ever made. I absolutely love it, it's one of those games me and my friends played every time we got together. With a lot of screaming laughter and minor insults. This is one of those games that should be in every NES collection. If you have friends or is living with someone, this game should always be considered on game nights. It's one of the best multiplayer games of all time. This game also doesn't have that many sports where you just hammer the buttons, but are more about timing. My favorites are the pole vault, taekwondo, the clay pigeon shooting and the hurdles. Some of them I don't get like the high dive. I just don't get how to stick the landing. Can anyone tell me how to do this? I've tried for hours and nothing happens. I just seem to be doing belly landing. So my character is probably more red than a lobster. Some of the sports works fine in single player, but the game is really made for playing multiplayer. Playing this alone is actually not super fun, but I think it's still worth it for all the competitive fun. If you never played this back in the day, this is a really good buy and seeing as it's generally dirt cheap. This is one game you don't have any excuse to not add to your collection. The next game is probably the most obvious game I've ever put in any of these videos. It's not a Super Mario game. Do you like to build things? Do you like geometric shapes? Tetris. Yeah, this is Tetris. If you've never played this before, you're in the minority. There's a big chance that even your grandma has played this. Maybe not on the NES, but on one of those cheap LCD games. If you don't have this in one form or another in your game collection, you've done something wrong. Originally conceived in Russia by a guy called Alexei Pajitnov, while working for the Russian government, he actually didn't earn any money on his creation until 1996. Seeing that just the NES version, released in 89, sold in almost 6 million copies, he sure missed out on some cash. All the while the Russian government and Nintendo laughed all the way to the bank. Anyway, I absolutely prefer the NES version of Tetris to the Game Boy version. 
Mostly because you can play it on a TV and don't need a really strong lamp to see the screen. This is also pretty much the only puzzle game I can actually stand playing. I really like how the NES version changes the colors of the blocks when you get to the next level. The only real downer in this version is that the song from the Game Boy version isn't there and the music in this version is not nearly as catchy. Anyway, this is Tetris. If you don't know what it is, you've probably just awakened from a really long coma. Get it, play it, enjoy it. Do you like ninjas? Do you wish NES games were more like Monster System games? Then I have a little secret for you. There's a Shinobi game on the NES. It's called Wrath of the Black Manta. Yeah, this is almost a carbon copy of a Shinobi game. It looks almost identical to those games and plays just like them. You play as a ninja shooting enemies while slowly walking through the stages. On the first stage you're supposed to interrogate the guys dressed in red to figure out where the big bad guy is. I don't know if you really need to too because they sort of always jump into my arms and are pretty hard to avoid. There's also a whole lot of letters scattered around the stage, telling you about secrets and stuff like that. On some stages you get to fly this weird kite thing that's pretty cool, turning the game into sort of a shoot 'em up Which is kind of fun to break up the gameplay a little. Generally this game looks really good for an NES game, and why this is so cheap I really don't know because it plays really good. Anyway, if you're looking for a cool ninja game for the NES or if you really enjoy the Shinobi games, this is a really solid game to get. Do you like old school cartoons? Do you remember when kids programming weren't so focused grouped and well kid friendly? Then you're probably a fan of Tom and Jerry. Yeah, who doesn't remember the ultimate cat and mouse team? The first thing you'll notice when starting the game is it looks really good. The NES rendition of Jerry looks amazing and the backgrounds and enemies also look great. The music also sounds like something coming directly from the show, with the Tom and Jerry music sounding great through the NES. The stages are pretty varied and take place in pretty much all places a mouse can fit into, like the basement, the sewage pipes and the kitchen. This house seems to have some serious problem with the plumbing though. Because there's both snails and crabs down in the pipes. Atop of that the kitchen is littered with roaches. Maybe because they're popping popcorn all day. I have a real problem seeing why this game doesn't get more attention. It's a really solid platformer and plays really good. The stages are huge for the NES and there's secrets absolutely everywhere. The difficulty can be a bit steep at some points though. Maybe that's the culprit. Anyway, the bottom line here is that it's a great little platformer and is a game I really recommend getting. With a price tag of less than 10 euro or dollars for a loose copy, there's really no excuse not owning this little gem. Do you want a serious challenge? Do you need a reason to get the NES Advantage controller? Maybe you want a complete collection of games made by Rare. Then this game is a really solid buy. 
Snake Rattler Roll. Yeah, as I mentioned, this is made by Rare and is also on the Rare Replay collection for the Xbox One. The game has that isometric view that some NES games used. The kind that sort of mess with your head because you never go straight when pressing the D button. This makes the game a little bit harder but can be made a bit easier if you use the NES Advantage controller. Since it's easier to go diagonally with that. You control a snake through maze-like levels trying to get to the door. On your way there, you're supposed to eat some blue, red and yellow things that's shut out by these organ looking things. When you eat enough, you'll get a tail and you can stand on the scales and open the door. There's several power-ups, but the most important ones are the ones that give your tongue an extension. Making it easier to eat orbs or kill enemies. Like the giant foot that can take a serious amount of hits. Try to stay away from the water because you can't jump from there and if you get into deep water a monster will come after you and eat you. Anyway, if you like these isometric games or if you like a real challenge this is a really solid game and well worth the price. So, that was 5 great and cheap NES games. What do you think of my picks? Do you have any requests for games to feature? Maybe you have a favorite ch super cheap NES game. Tell me in the comments and don't forget to le leave a like when you're down there. If you really liked the video, press the subscribe button and share it with your friends. I mostly post my main content on Wednesdays and try to make one live stream every weekend. Anyway, that's all I have for you today and I hope you, I'll see you again next time. Goodbye!